Well, you may sometimes find red bumps or hives on your skin after you spend out time outside or see leaf damage in your garden or on your trees. WENY's Alexandra Dern spoke to a master garden coordinator with Cornell about an invasive insect known as the spongy moth. Alexandra? Yeah, Nick Renata, this master gardener tells me this non-native invasive species is from Eastern Europe, and she says a lot of people in Tompkins County have been noticing them flare up this year. People probably noticed a lot of caterpillars, not only in trees, but also falling from trees and um, the ground, mostly because they eat a lot of leaves off of the trees around them. Margaret Royal is the Master Gardener Volunteer Program Coordinator for Cornell Cooperative Extension, Tompkins County. Royal says spongy moths are picky with what plants they destroy, but no plant is truly safe. She adds these insects can also damage other plants that they latch onto, including crops and gardens. There are certain trees that they prefer over others, so the, the thing they do the most damage to, I think, is uh, oak trees. And they can defoliate the plant at a time when it's just starting to leaf out. Humans aren't safe either. Royal says people are complaining more often about spongy moss this year than when they started to flare up in 2021. It was definitely causing a lot of hives and raised bumps, very itchy and lasts a long time and, and can even cause some scarring. Royal says Benadryl and calamine lotion can also bring a lot of relief. As for their invasive presence, there are a few ways to handle it. But clearly they can be squished, so that's one way. Uh, they can also be collected and frozen, which is a pretty humane way because they pretty much go to sleep. And Royal says plant specialists don't expect these pesky critters to be around longer than two or so years, but the bad news is they can stay around in the area for as long as five years. Nick Renata.